welcome to the series of knowledge mining platform where we are going to create some labs using Azure Cognitive Search and also integrate with cognitive services. So let's first check what is Azure Cognitive Search. This is a cloud service, a search as a service cloud solution that gives developers APIs and tools to add a rich search experience to the end user can be included within our web applications, mobile, desktop, enterprise applications in our line of business. Our code is going to invoke the data injection to create and load the index. These indexes have the schema for the data we want to retrieve, the search, the attributes we want to get. Like if it's going to be searchable and then the analyzer, if it's going to be sortable, faceable, so we select in the schema and all the fields we get. All this data is brought from our data source, can be a blob from a storage account, a table, a database like Cosmos DB or SQL, SQL database or SQL Server in an Azure VM. Also, we can include cognitive skills to apply AI processes during the indexing to apply text analytics, computer vision. If you are working with documents, analyze the text to the text to detect the language, the sentiment, or your images to detect people, maybe celebrities, the objects within your image. So we add new information and a structure, useful structure for the index in our Azure search. The strengths we have is this is a fully managed service that reduces this complexity, is scalable, so we can work with different, uh, different tiers that are available from Azure. It's reliable, it's giving us a world-class availability to consume resources. Also includes also complete geospatial search, filtering, faceable capabilities to enrich the user experience. These are attributes for each one of the fields you add. You want to create a faceable for your products based on the price, the color, the category, or you want to filter based on the name of the product. You want to make it searchable, and this is going to give us based on the analyzer, the text analyzer. Has built-in AI capabilities. We include, we have optionally the way to include skills for images, for OCR, optical character recognition, for text like key phrases, extract entities, detect the language. These are optional steps we create. And it's giving us a flexible integration of custom models, classifiers, and rankers to fit our domain specific needs. So within this series, we are going to, to be working with cognitive search, integrate custom search using the portal, working with JSON, working with .NET, integrate with Azure functions, and also at the end work with an our Azure bot from our bot call the Azure search and have a natural interaction with the end user by also integrating with Lewis with language understanding. The different cognitive services available and we can integrate in our Azure search whether directly like computer vision or text analytics or as a custom search like Bing, these are the services we'll use, are divided by these different categories. Vision, speech, language, knowledge, and search. Vision, there are different services that help us to detect the, in the image the features such as colors, the description, some tag. If there are people, then detect the faces, the emotion. It, and for the faces, the age, 
the if it's male or female, if they are wearing some accessories. Content moderator, if in the image can be also video or text, there is some racy or adult content. So we filter before we send the data to our index. For the speech, working with the conversion, speech to text, text to speech, translator, even being a speech service, if you integrate in your bot, we can also include as part of the interaction we are going to have with our user. For language, also working with Bing, with the spell, Louis, this is one of the services we are going to use at the end within our bot. To have a natural language with the end user, Louis interprets what is the intent. Uh, maybe the user wants to buy something or wants to search for this person. Based on this interpre interpretation, then we call our Azure Cognitive Search that already has included computer vision or text analytics and bring the result, the response to the end user. So also, we are going to use text analytics as a skill set within the Azure Search. We are going to enrich our data and detect the language, the key phrases, from the documents. From documents, we are going to upload in our Azure search. Also, there is the translator. For knowledge, there are different services that include the option to work with our data like Q&A Maker. So it's giving us the option to create a knowledge base to get some recommendations, get the entity linking the relations between the different entities in our data. And search, also we are going to work with search in some of the labs here in this series. Search is Bing, is the service we have integrated and there are the different options. Search for the whole web, specific videos, entities, images. So there are the different services available. In our case, for this series, we'll be integrating as a skill set, computer vision, text analytics. We are going to work with our bot with language understanding. And we are going to work as a custom skill with um, Bing Web Search. How do we create the pipeline, the AI enrichment pipeline for our Azure Search? We have our source, this source can be a storage account, blobs or tables, database, Cosmos DB, Azure SQL database, SQL Server. So we connect, we create the data source. Then this is the optional step and this is what we want to use, the cognitive skills. We need to select or create in this moment our cognitive service that bring us the option to add text analytics and compute vision. And then select the enrichments we want to add. Enrichment such as detect the key phrases, detect the language, the detect the linked entities, or computer vision, the OCR, the tags, the metadata for the images. After we configure our cognitive skills, Based on the enrichments and based on the data set, the data source, there is going to be created the schema of our index or the fields. Example, from my blog storage, uh, the fields are going to be the name of the file, the path of the file. But from my enrichment, I want to detect people, so this will be another field. I want to detect the language, this is another field. The category, this is another field. So that the schema, again, is based on the data source and the cognitive skills. And finally, within the schema is where we can add these extra attributes included within Azure Search. It's going to be searchable, and if it's searchable, only for text, specify the analyzer, Lucene or Microsoft, and the language. It is going to be retrievable, so we can select the field to get it in our response. 
it's going to be sortable. So after we get the result, we can sort based on that field. Uh, filterable based on the result. We can filter on the specific fields or faceable. So we can group the fields and get the result based on what the Azure search is giving us after the search. And optionally, integrate a suggester. Suggester allows us, as the name says, to suggest based on the searching we are creating and the data we have within the index. So we go, finish, that will be our third section, data source, cognitive skills, the enrichment documents, the, the schema for the index, and to get this data, to get the enrichment documents, then we need to create the indexer. Indexer is integrating the data source, the cognitive skill, and the index together to pull the data from the source, to add the enrichment, and push it into the index. That will give us our enriched documents. And finally, we can just consume our service, search our service. In our labs, we are going to work with these pipelines to create our whole process. Example of usage. Here is one integration available. There is Azure Search. The source is from Cosmos DB. It is consumed through an Azure bot service using Lewis to have a natural language. So Azure Bot Service has Lewis to detect what is the intent. Based on that intent, search into the Azure Search Service. We are going to work with documents. So if we need to open the document, it's going to read directly from the storage blob. The storage blob contains the documents. The Cosmos DB contains the metadata. And to create this, it's using computer vision to get the metadata of these images and send it to Cosmos DB. This is one example of how we can integrate our solutions, our services in Azure. Now we are going to start with our first lab. First, create the environment, set up the environment, and then create the whole pipeline we saw before using the Azure portal. If you got the time, please join to the next video. Thank you very much for viewing.